Hey, what's up everyone? It's TK here, TK Door Scar here with another anime review. So I misread the total amount of episodes for this anime and it seemed like today the last episode has dropped. So here we are with the review. This is one of the animes that I really enjoyed throughout the season. This is an action, comedy, horror, magic, uh, fantasy, and siren anime those are like all the genres is categorized in the anime is called Doro Hidoro I've been trying to get someone to watch it but he's been running keys but uh yeah this is a very good anime in my opinion so let me just kind of talk about the story a little bit and all the other stuff I want to talk about so pretty much the story is about this guy and this girl searching for a certain sorcerer so they can have the sorcerer undo a spell that was put on one of the main characters. The main character name is Kaiman. He has an alligator head as his head because of we don't exactly know what went down and how this happened. We do get like an episode that kind of gives us a little bit of a backstory, but we don't get like the full details of it. But pretty much they are searching for this sorcerer. And they don't really explain this part right here, but he pretty much engulfs someone's head. Like, he pretty much opens his mouth and sticks their head in his mouth. And some guy comes and says, you are not the one. Or he'll say something else depending on the person. And that's kind of how he's been tracking or trying to decide who is this sorcerer. They never explain that part. But, uh, yeah, this anime is, is pretty weird. It also is unique. Uh, this is more for the younger adult audience. That's what the Siren tag is. It's more for a little more mature crowd there. We do got blood, we got guts, we got gore, things of that nature. I believe like on the second or first episode, we see someone's face, skin gets peeled off by Kai, man. In some other episodes, we get some heads and body pieces getting chopped off. So, not... The anime you might not want to watch with uh, kids if you have any and you watch anime with your kids, but it is a very uh, bloody type anime. I really like the action. Even though we have the magic tag, it's not that colorful magic, and I'm happy that it's not like that. And even though, again, it has the magic tag, we get a lot of hand to hand combat, which I am a big fan of. I watch a lot of MMA and UFC type stuff. So when anime has the hand to hand combat and you're actually seeing the hand to hand go down instead of like some fast light speed little animation to try to to try to uh, portray or show that they are doing hand to hand combat you're actually seeing the hand to hand combat go down so I really like that about this anime uh, the characters and art design I really like the character and art design is very unique different weird because some of the characters well, actually, a lot of characters in anime wear like masks to kind of like hide their identity because in this anime, there are two different worlds. They call one of the worlds is like the whole. I'm pretty sure that's the one where the sorcerers live, and then we got the regular like realm, which is like where the normal people that's not uh, sorcerers live at. And certain certain uh, things will affect the normal world if some like for it instance like I think on one episode the smoke which is like kind of like the magic that the sorcerers use had an effect on like the regular realm and they had some type of undead crisis going on so it's very weird unique type anime I really like the girl characters on this anime I like my girl Nikaido and Noi uh, don't want to really talk too much about these characters kind of trying to avoid spoilers but uh, I really, I definitely like Nikaido and I like Noi. Uh, the other characters I didn't really care for as much, you no. Know? But uh, there are some cool and weird design looking characters here on the anime. And uh, the art style is different. Like, you really don't see too many animes that's uh, kind of like designed or drawn, drawn this way. So that's a plus in my book. Um, the music, uh, the opening, I like the opening and I really like the ending themes and ending, uh, ending videos they have. 
they got about like three I believe different Indian packages so it's pretty cool to see those I, I really enjoy the music for that um overall I think I think this is a really good anime I really enjoyed it it has some potential it is unique and I, I want to see more of it I believe this will have a season two like it has to I think it's going to have season two just how the pacing of it was going and how things are right now by the way I am recording this a little early I'm recording this the day before the finale actually but I'm good at kind of telling like which anime will have uh, another season like that freaking, what's the anime called? Uh, what's the anime called? Golden, Golden Kumai or Golden Kamui, whatever it's called. Like, I easily could tell that season one was going to go to the season two. And I easily could tell that season two was going to go to a season three. Spoiler for those who haven't watched the anime yet. But there are other animes that also can like trick you, make you think it's going to end. But they end up dragging it. So... But this one seems like it's clearly just going to have another season to it. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is one of the best action animes I have seen. That's like a newer anime. The only other one I can think of is uh, Copcraft. Which I'm hoping Copcraft gets season 2. By the way, check out my Copcraft review. That went on like two seasons ago. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this anime is really good. I'm giving this anime Doro Hidoro. A 5 out of 5. Another perfect score. Uh, this is my third perfect score, I believe, for the this winter 2020 season. If you want to know what I thought about other animes that went on throughout this uh, season, you can just check out my anime list profile and see what I graded those animes there. Now, even though I gave this a perfect 5 out of 5, that only I'm giving this anime like a perfect 10 score when I do my rating on there, by the way, for those wondering. But it is... A 5 out of 5 is anywhere in my scale from like a 8 to like a 10 as far as the my anime list ratings just for those that's wondering. So yeah, but anyways, I think this is this is definitely the final review. I don't got anything else I want to really do a review on for this winter 2020 season. I'm ready for the spring season to start up and I'm going to dig into those and pretty sure I would do a good amount of reviews for that uh, season that's approaching. But anyways, I'm TK, TK with Doris Carr. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check out my most recent reviews. I did some all in the Forest Spirit, and I did Sentinel Academy as well. I did a Spring 2020 High Ascent Season, so be sure to check that out as well. And until next time, talk to you later. Peace.